Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. We are back on Moss Valley and we've just finished ploughing both the fields and getting the straw bales off. You can see just in front of me that we've got quite a few straw bales with even more just there. Uh, I had a quick look, the price for straw bales, it's not, it's, it's not bad but it's not at its highest just yet. So, I'm thinking we're gonna leave the straw bales on the trailer for now and probably sell them when the price is right. I'll just jump into the menu and show you quickly. So, if we scroll down and find straw, uh, there it is. So it's currently 74, uh, 74 pounds per thousand litres and it could get up to 88 pounds per thousand litres in February. We're currently in October so we're still relatively low. It's better than the lowest but I think for now we're not short on cash so we will keep a hold of it and sell it in February, January, February time. Now we have bought some new equipment if I jump into the shop and show you, we have bought it, we've not leased it. We have changed our cedar to the Bednar uh, cedar. I'm not going to pronounce, uh, I think it's a Corsa CN9000 and the CS5000. Uh, I thought it was going to be a lot more complicated to say than it was. Um, so we bought that. It's a piece of equipment I've never played with before, but it's got a 9 meter working width and considering how long it took to uh, plow that big field that we just I've just left the plow is a nine meter working width and it took quite a long time um, so I thought if we expand the cedar then we've got a better chance of getting things done a bit quicker um, I think we're going to plant canola in both fields this year had a look off camera and it's off screen and yeah it looks like it's going to be it's only these four wheat barley oats and canola that we can plant at the moment and I'd quite like to get a crop in the ground um, and the canola gives us the most value so I think we'll go for that um, and we've also we've got some seed bags and fertilizer bags but we've bought the scout so we can go and test our soil which will be the first thing that we need to do today uh, might as well uh, take the um, fent as we're in it already. So, yeah, we've got, got a lot to get done today. I need to find the exit of the field. Of the uh, field? No, nope, of the yard. Right, here we go. I do need to get a uh, pressure washer, actually. Let's just jump back into the store and bring in the open the construction menu. Where can I put the power wash? I'm wondering about there. I think I think just there would work. Uh, it's under tools, I think. I think I've got a mod installed as well because that's quite it's quite an expensive one. Uh, yeah, we get a thousand. So if I zoom in, I need to rotate that round, and we will get it there. There you go. So if we just jump out. Nice and clean, and we have to see see a bit better. It's done a lot of work. We'll have to pull the hub back on when we get in and see uh, how many hours the strap has worked. It's uh, been used quite a bit. Just it's a bit better, right? bring up the uh, HUD, it's done nearly five hours 
and it's only and it's a leased tractor. Uh, we do need to, when we can, get uh, start purchasing our leased equipment, uh, just because it's not costing us too much. But there is quite a bit leased. Both the big tractors are leased um, and the combine, so we do need to uh, save some money and get those. But hopefully now we've got all the equipment that we're likely to need to start off with so we shouldn't need to change things for a bit so we can focus on earning some money and purchasing the equipment I just realised my beacons aren't on let's just put those on Yeah, they are on, you couldn't see them. And we're here. So, hopefully, I'm going to try and put the scout on the front. And the cedar unit on the back. And then we'll drop the cedar unit off from the... Uh, uh, let me bring the camera up. Oh, nope, wrong button. I somehow activated the um, <laughs> activated my uh, GPS mod, which isn't what I wanted to do. Right. Oh, I'm turning it on again. There we go. We need the back camera, and we will swing around. And try to very carefully get this. Yeah. So, step one of today is going to be to test both the fields, and I don't know how long that's going to take because. Um, Yeah, they are quite big, and I've made a complete mess of that. Let's try this again. There we go, right. So I'm going to swing this round and get the seed first, because I need it to be full of seed. We will probably have to bring the uh, telehandler over, but for now... Up. Yeah, there we are filling, that's good. I'm not sure how much this is going to take. So I've got plenty of bags, but we might have to come back and get some more. But for now, we should have plenty. I think it's going to take five bags to fill it. Yeah, five bags and we're full. There we go. So we'll head back to the farm and we'll put the scout on the back of the tractor and actually we can use the New Holland for that. We can leave the, um, yeah we'll do that. We'll leave the cedar all hitched up to the fence and ready to go and we'll use the little New Holland to test the fields. It'd be nice to give one of our owned tractors a bit of a run and uh, as it's only a small tractor, it can't do masses, unfortunately, uh, as we've got quite big equipment already. So, yeah, I think getting the getting that to test the fields would be be a good job for it. So, I will see you once we're back at the farm and the New Holland is ready to go. I will see you in a minute. Welcome back. Typically, it started raining. Uh, we'll just jump into the uh, weather section and see how long the rain is likely to last. There we go. Um, 
until one o'clock. Okay, that's that's not too bad. So we should be able to get get the fields all tested, and by the time we got the results, hopefully the rain will be starting to stop. So let's just get ourselves positioned. I've got to remember the uh, correct key now to test the field. Is it B? There we go. Right, first time. So. I'll put this into a time lapse and we will get both these fields done as quickly and as efficiently as possible. Hopefully it won't take us too long, but I will see you in a bit. Welcome back from that time lapse. We're making good progress, but as you can see, I do keep occasionally missing a tiny little bit and have to do a whole other test just for that, like we've done here. Um, no, we're still in reverse. <laughs> Drive does help quite a lot. Um, yeah, we're making good progress, but this field is absolutely massive. When I looked on the map, I thought it was only a little bit bigger than. Um, I'll do it now actually. Okay, no, it's, you can visibly see it's a lot bigger. But yeah, looking at them, I thought it's not much bigger. It's it's decent size, but what's this one? Field 32 is 5.9 um, hectare, so it's field 34. Oh, wow, <laughs> okay, over double the size. Um, or nearly double the size. Uh, yeah, nearly double the size. Okay, that's a lot bigger. That explains why we got over double the amount of straw bales from this from uh, field 33 um, than we did. We think we've got it's like 60, 64, something, something like that. Six, maybe even 68. We've got a ridiculous amount of bales. Um, so we're getting on quite well with the soil testing. 
Uh, it's taking a lot longer than I was expecting, um, or hoping it was going to take, which is fine because we've still got quite a few hours of rain. But I'm sure you guys don't want to uh, sit here watch and watch me just drive around a field for the entire episode <laughs> testing the soil. So I'll crack on and get this done, and I'll see you once it's all done, and hopefully we can start the seeding. So I'll we'll see you in a bit. Welcome back. We have finished doing the testing and the results are all back. We're just waiting for the rain to pass. We're hiding out inside the shed. It's due to stop any minute now. Uh, but while we wait for that, we'll have a quick look and see what the results of our soil test were. So loamy sand. I don't actually know if that's good or not, but that's all we've got. <laughs> um, let me have a quick look, see if it's precision farming soil types. Does it tell us? No. Okay. I wondered if it was going to tell us uh, a bit about each, but we will have to find out. Uh, but if we come back up, the pH needs to be increased, the nitrogen definitely needs to be increased. Uh, we don't know the seed rate yet, but we should, the rain should stop any second now. Uh, let's pull the HUD up. Yeah, it's meant to, uh, it's meant to be clearing, so uh, we will head over and get ourselves ready in the tractor. So I think we're going to plant canola so we can get ourselves unfolded. I'm not sure if the rain makes a difference to the planting. I think it probably would. Um, but we can get ourselves actually we can give it a quick go. The rain's meant to be stopping soon anyway. Let's back up because we need to lower that. Right. Does the rain make a difference? No. So we could have just carried on. So. Oh, there we go. And it stopped. Even better. See, I think, like I said, like I said at the start, I think we're going to put canola in both fields. Seems to have a good yield. Um, I say yield, sorry, a good um, high value if we sell it at the correct time. Um, so hopefully we get a good yield because uh, it'd be nice to get. I think the thing this year was highest was 1,300 and something per thousand liters. Um, whereas I think it was wheat and oat were six or seven hundred pounds per thousand liters, respectively. Um, that's only an approximate guess. I can't exactly remember. But canola came out on top, and considering that's that I wanted to put a combinable crop in. And the time of year, I think I might just missed a little bit, but that's okay. Um, it, to get the maximum price, it really had to be canola. It couldn't couldn't have been anything else. Um, but maybe next next season, we can plant something different. Maybe look at doing some sunflowers or corn, because um, we would need a planter for that and a different combine header and as we want to try and purchase some of the least equipment I think it makes sense to do two combine oil crops right now and get those to the highest possible yield that we can and hopefully then get a good amount of income when it's time to sell those. We do need to remember to keep an eye on um, 
the oats and potentially the wheat. Um, it's the cell. I might keep the wheat as we've got the chickens. Um, have a quick look before the end of the episode how they're doing. Um, so yeah, it hopefully won't take us too long, although this is a massive field and we are going 9 miles an hour. But we will be done before we know it. It's just the hill that's uh, going to be a going to be a problem. But we will get there. So I'll put this back into a time lapse, and we'll get as much of this field done as we can. So I will see you in a bit. Welcome back from that time lapse. We've nearly finished the final headland, and once we get back to the other side, we will set up the vehicle control add on uh, GPS and get the tractor going. It's, it's a massive field. <laughs> Hopefully, we can get a good crop off it. Although I did think during that time lapse, we currently don't have any any way, I believe, to spread the line to increase the pH. Um, I do know that the Kubota Geo Spread uh, has the same working width as the fertilizer spread that we've got at the moment, um, but does solid fertilizer and lime. So it might be that we do need to change 
that um, the Kubota is sort of my go-to uh, fertilizer spreader because it just does everything. Um, but we can certainly have a look if we just get ourselves all positioned and set that to the width. And uh, that. Bring up my HUD. Oh, we're not using too much seed either. We've still got 88%. That's really good going. I was. Uh, oops, I think that's a worker. We don't want to hire a worker. We want that. And then I've got to. Try and. that there. So that should do it. If I, we will try and get the tractor around a bit. I might have to do this bit myself. And this should hopefully give us a nice Straight line to start off with. We can get everything turned back on and down. And hopefully, we don't miss anything. So, this, like I say, hopefully, will give us the nice straight lines rather than me accidentally detouring, uh, potentially missing parts of the field, which wouldn't be ideal as, like I've said before, we want to get as much cropping as possible. So just want to keep going up just a bit more, I'm going, to swim. I'm going to go all the way to the top. Actually, we can lift that up for a bit because we planted that. Just because I don't want to, don't want to miss anything. And then spin it around like this. Just being a bit oops, too fast. So once we've. Uh, done that whole corner it'll be a lot easier we won't need to uh, keep going too far but hopefully this will join on perfectly which it has so let's put the cruise control on which does unfortunately increase the uh, volume uh, we can jump into, oh, no, we need to come back out of this because we're nearly at the end. So let's turn the cruise control off and we'll turn it back around and then we can quickly check the uh, chickens. And that's why I've done three headings, just because I want enough space to be able to turn around nicely. I know I could put this on a worker, but I don't don't see the point at the moment where we've got not got masses to do why would we spend the money on the worker so what's our seed consumption like standard okay that's not too bad uh, let's have a quick look at oh, I've just realized we didn't put cruise control on there we go let's have a look at our animals so we've got over a thousand eggs already and they've got plenty of uh, grain that's really good to see. And what have we got? What are we storing? We've got some wheat and we've got a load of oats. So oats are best January, February time at 1157. Ooh. See, it still says it's going to go up. I think we uh I think we're gonna hold fire. 
the oats are nearly ready to be sold though, we could sell them and get a decent, uh, decent amount, but I think we will hold fire because it should go back up even higher than it is now. So yeah, now we're on the up and down rows, it shouldn't take us too long. Uh, the only issue is there's quite a lot to be done. And then we've got all that to do. But we do need to change our fertilizer spreader, so let's have a quick look. I won't remember cruise control then we can then we can open the shop is there a fertilizer spreader in here no okay so what have we got oh i think we might need to roll it we'll have a quick look so we've got the amazon at the moment which just does the fertilizer the two brutal i think i'm saying that correctly please uh, correct me if i'm saying that incorrectly and i do apologize if i am um, they both do the lime as well, but the max width is 18, that doesn't do it, but this does, and it's only 26. Caught it just in time. Just back that up very carefully. We will buy the Kubota. Uh, it'll keep standard capacity. Ooh, that might be uh, that might be really really nice if we do that. Okay, same price as well. There we go. So we will get that. And have a quick look. Okay, we're nearly, nearly at the top of the field again. And then, all that we need to do, other than finish the fields, is just see if they've got to be rolled. Because that's going, that's something I don't really do, but like I say, I want the highest possible yield. And if we've got to roll them, we've got to roll them. So we'll get this track to turn back around. And then we can jump into the map. Yep, we need a roller. So, how much horsepower have we got? The largest is 296, which is the fence. So, what have we got? It's going to be this. That's the need. Which tires look nice. There we go with the BKTs. Right. Again. Yeah, we'll lease this one. It's not gonna get used that often. So we've, we should have everything we need to get 100% yield on this field. It's a lot to do. A lot to do. Um, just thinking. I think our best strategy is going to be I will crack on and get field 33 finished but for the next episode I think I'm gonna reactivate the course play mod I've uh, not got it active at the moment but I think we'll activate that 
Ooh, set a worker off. Planting field 32, or seeding field 32. While we start rolling this field and doing the lime and fertilizer. So that way we can get everything done as fast as possible. But for now, I really do hope you've enjoyed this episode. The mist playing on Moss Valley. I do do enjoy both well, I enjoy all the maps I play, but I do really enjoy Moss Valley and Court Farms. Uh, so I do hope you're enjoying them as well. And if you are, it really would mean a lot to me if you would like the video and even subscribe to the channel. Um, like I say, it would really mean a great deal to me. But I hope you've enjoyed this episode and hopefully we will see you back here for the next episode. Bye for now.